Good evening, good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Karen Hahn here really quickly, and I mean really quickly, giving all glory and honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this evening. I'm not a pastor, preacher, minister, or any of those things, just a servant living for God daily. And I'm reading this really book that my auntie blessed me with called The Last Call. And it's a combination of people who had either visions or dreams and uh, God spoke to them. And um, it's a really good book. I would suggest you guys get it. You will love it just as much as I love it. And um, I read a couple of pages a day and I tend to do it more at night when I have my quiet time. So I was reading this because I do feel personally um, that we're in a season where we just need to be praying for God to continually cleanse us, purify us, and sanctify us. Because he is coming back, but he's coming back for um, people that have a personal relationship with him. It's not about a religion. It's about a relationship with Christ. So I started reading this on tonight, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. It says, allow me to break you. I made and formed you from the dust of the earth. I fashioned and designed you to use you as an instrument for my honor and glory. Even now I am shaping and molding. I am breaking and remaking. I am cutting and piercing, drying and staining. It is the work of the master Elohim, the creator and originator of all things. Your vessel has become marred in the hands of the potter. I am making it over again. The process seems long and hurtful and even hopeless. The pain intense and at times without comfort and balm. The circumstances surrounding your unjust... Oh, hold on. The circumstances surrounding you seem unjust and unfair. But all is from my hand. All I do is for your good. I must bring evil to the surface and work it out of you. I must separate the vow before you will become pure and good in thought, intent, motive, action, and response. Your heart is still proud. You stubbornly hold on to your old ways and thoughts and purposes, but not willingly anymore. What you see and feel and speak are old hurts, wounds, anger, bitterness, lust, longings, and imaginations. They have brought a hardness and arrogance and pride. Let me, allow me to break you. Now, this is God talking to um, that person, okay? And it's really speaking to us as well. Um, where was I at? Be willing to be shattered and brought low so that nothing of yourself is left. No hopes, no dreams, no longings, no loves, no defilements, just pure, tender, peaceable, merciful love. Then it will be all of me and none of you. So again, this is a combination of um, letters written by people who had visions or dreams and, you, you know, God or the Holy Spirit spoke with to them and you know they wrote down what they saw and what they heard and it's a really good book it it, it, it's, it talks a lot about the the cleansing how God it wants to cleanse us and purify us before his return and I just wanted to share that with you guys again we need to make sure we're focused we're reading his word we're staying um, uplifted and rooted in the spirit in his word by fasting and in worship daily every day making sure we're spending adequate adequate time with the Lord developing our own personal relationships because we know after the death is the judgment and we also know that he is soon to return as well so whichever one comes first I'm not sure but all I know is that now is the time to make sure we're living right, that our desires are pure and holy, because we don't want to miss out on the coming of the King. We don't want to miss out on our Savior. So that's why every day I'm going to continue to pray to be counted worthy to escape the things coming on our world today, um, to be able to stand blameless before the Son of Man. I love you all with the love of Christ. 
Amen, amen, amen. Don't forget to keep looking up. Our King is soon to come.